Hey guys, it's Sadie, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today, I'm going to be doing a What's in My Dance Bag 2016, because I did a What's in My Backpack 2016, and you guys were loving that, and I also got so many video suggestions that were What's in Your Dance Bag, so I'm going to be doing it right now, right here. Let's do this. So this is my bag, and it's from Adidas. I don't know exactly where my mom got it. My mom just like, hey, here's a dance bag. I was like, thank you. You can probably get it at like Sport Check or something like that. And basically, it's like one front pocket, side pocket, big pocket, and water bottle pouch pocket. And my water bottle is this one. Um, I got it from Winners, and it's this glass one because I like glass ones because they are like less chemically and they don't have any GMO or parabens or stuff like that and fun fact I actually dropped one of these and it shattered we bought two and one was for my mom one was for me and I dropped it off the counter and it shattered so that's just a representation of my life <laughs> so I have this one it's mint green which is one of my favorite colors and I'm just gonna jump right into the well actually wait no, I'm just gonna... what does the crowd say it says the front pocket. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. Uh, anyways, so I have this tester. What the heck is that? Okay, uh, that was weird. I have this. <laughs> what is flying out of this? Oh, I have like these things. That the oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Anyways, I have this tester and it's for type 1 diabetes. If you guys didn't know, I have type 1 diabetes. So I have to keep track of my blood sugar at dance at all times. So I always have to have one of these in my dance bag. And then I have this, which I got at dance camp. But I keep it like in case I have a low blood sugar, I can like suck on it if I don't have any other sugar. And then I have this, which I DIY. <laughs> I put some duct tape over it and some washi tape, and it just has glucose tablets, which are once again something for diabetics. And that's it. So that's in the first pocket. It's basically like a diabetes pocket. And then this is. Oh, I just got a cramp in my leg. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. So this is what the side pocket looks like, and it's all my shoes. So there's like two compartments. I keep my big shoes in here and my small shoes in here. So I just got new jazz shoes and I'm so excited because these ones are different than the ones that I had before. I had the block ones and these ones are so dansa. And they're the half soles. And I just really love jazz shoes. I use them so much and there's at least one hole in them at the end of the year. So I pretty much have to get jazz shoes every year and I'm so sorry mom and dad because they have to like buy these. but. Still, I'm so grateful that I got new jazz shoes this year. And then I have my ballet shoes. These are, what are they? I've used them so much that like the thing rubbed off at the bottom. I think they're block and they're split sole once again. And these are my old ones. Yes, they are very dirty and very used. But I'm going to hold off getting new ballet shoes because as long as they don't have a hole in them, I'm going to use them and I want to save my parents money. So I'm going to be using these for a couple more months until a hole generates. Then I have my point shoes. Yes guys, I am on point. I'm doing, this is my second year on point. And these are my jazz shoes. I just have this bag that says Sansha. I don't really know the meaning of that. Yeah, I got these at Gabby's Boutique. I don't know if you have one. I don't know if there's one in the United States. But in Canada, it's Gabby's Boutique. And first, I have these gel pads because they make your point shoes so much more comfortable. And I just have like the lime green and blue ones. And then I have my point shoes. Here they are. Oh my gosh, I love point shoes so much. Me and my friend Haley, we can say we can walk around in point shoes every single day if they didn't hurt as much as they did. They're kind of wrecked, but not that much. Like, there's some like rips down there, but that's normal. For point shoes but these ones are block balance so they're block balance xx i don't know there's like an xx on so i just decided to say that but guys point is so fun i do this for half an hour on thursday okay so that's it in that pocket and then i have socks because as you guys saw in my what's in my backpack video my feet are always cold so i have to have socks like when i'm on break I have leg warmers to keep my muscles warm when I'm on break. Then I have my Turner shoes, and these are like half shoes, and this, so basically you like slip them on and then put these elastics around your heel, and they're so good for lyrical, contemporary, jazz, anything you have to turn in but you don't want a full shoe. 
So these are really good. These are really old, but they have stayed together, so that's very good. I have two pairs of very, very, very wrecked footsies. Like, look at this one. Like, it has one, and there's like a string hanging from it. This one is fine, but it's kind of, you know. And then that one, this one's like my best one. And then this one, the whole like thing is falling off. I just have these because I tend to forget a lot of shoes or my friend forgets a shoe, I can lend them one of these, even though these are really broken. But I just always like to have extra pairs. So there's that. Ooh, and then I have my lyrical shoes. They're not bear paws, but they're foot glove. I think it's, yeah, it's a foot glove. And they're from Block. Yes, they're from Block. And basically there's like one hole for each toe. And they're kind of wrecked, like there's some strings hanging out, but it's not too bad. And I use these for lyrical class. And yeah, so these are the last type of shoe that I have in my bag. So the camera stopped recording and I finished the video and now I have to go halfway back through the video and record it all again. If someone wants to send me a new camera, that will be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm gonna go on to the middle of my bag. And first I have this TheraBand, which I like to use just to strengthen my feet. If you didn't know, you like put it around your foot and then you pull and you try to point your foot and it just strengthens them and makes them more flexible so I can have a better arch. And I like using this in my breaks and say I'll do homework for 10 minutes and then do this for five minutes and keep going. Yeah, that's just another thing that I like to bring in my dance bag. And then I have my knee pads and these are from the Bunheads company. I will link them down below. I order them off Amazon. And yeah, so I just use these in jazz class or hip hop class or something like that because I'm dropping down on my knees a lot and I don't want to get a bunch of bruises so these are really helpful for that they're they have I don't know if you can see I'll try to show but they have like gel inside and it's so comfy and yeah so I wear these a lot at dance then I have a mini first aid kit because if you guys know if you're like a dancer or a gymnast or something we get hurt a lot so it's always a good idea to have some band-aids heating pads stuff like that like gauze and stuff because we always get like little cuts and stuff and like our toes start bleeding which is a lot of information but we're close now so and then I have this makeup bag that I got from Walmart I just have everything that's like little and loose that I don't want to put loosely in my bag so it stays organized or as organized as I can keep it during dance and I just have a deodorant I have a headband which is a wet lululemon headband that has lipstick on it to keep my hair back during dance, like, it goes like, meh. <laughs> it's like I like, screenshot that and then like, make a meme, like, tweet it to me and like, make a meme like, when, when school starts, like. <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, what, who, oh my gosh. Okay, and then I have two packs of Kleenex because this is really embarrassing because whenever I'm doing turns in class and I do like chenets or piques or stuff like that, my nose always starts running and I don't want it not to like fly to the other end of the room. <laughs> so I just always take these into class with me and like blow my nose before I start turning. Life hack for you guys, I guess. I turned a gum container into a body pins, a body pins holder so that it's like really accessible and you can just take one out and like fix your hair at dance. Let's have that. I have an EOS lip balm, a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. I have this little ring keychain thing that I put some hair elastics on just in case one of mine breaks or one of my friends forget them even though they never give them back. I have an eraser. Oh, I usually have a pencil in here. Well, I have an eraser and a pencil in here so that I can finish homework when I'm at dance. So I just have that. I have some floss and a nail clipper. I also have this bun cover that I got at Gabby's Boutique, but it's basically you put like a messy bun in and then you clip this on either side like that. And it makes your bun look perfect. Like it's so helpful. So I use that a lot. And then I also have a mini perfume that eh, like you just rub it on, like rub it like that because I can get pretty stanky when I'm doing dance. So yeah, that's all that's in that bag. I always have a snack or a dinner with me because I'm at dance for a pretty long time after school and I do not want to go hungry and I also don't want to have a low blood sugar. So I have some apple in here, which I usually like put some lemon juice on it so they don't go brown. 
okay and so I have like that's my carby thing so I don't go low and then I usually have a protein or something like that so I can have energy so I just have a cheese string I also have two marshmallows because low blood sugar again and the last thing that's in my dance bag are extra dance clothes so I just have these shorts they're from the Infinity brand and they're so cheap. They're literally like $8, I think, or something like that. They're so cheap and these are the sh my shorts. They have lavender things on them and they're so cute. And I also have ballet tights and a dance top, which looks like this. And I got this from Winners, so always have to have extra dance clothes in case one of them rips or something like that. Oh, and there's like a little phone pocket in here, so let's just take my phone and slip it inside this pocket because it fits perfectly, so yeah. If you guys want to see what's on my iPhone, I will do that video for you guys. Just literally let me know. That's everything that's in my dance bag. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you want to watch my last video, it's up there in the eye. It's a mug brownie recipe that literally took five minutes. Drop any questions down below for me to answer in an upcoming Q&A video. And also leave any suggestions down below because I have been seeing morning routine, what's on my iPhone, and some other stuff. So leave your suggestions down below. Also, my social media like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and you now are all in the description down below as well. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And if you feel you're sinking, I will jump right over.